Hi, welcome along, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play a great song by Cat Stevens. This is called Father and Son. So if that's what you're up for, go and grab your guitar, and I'll meet you back here in three, two, one. So, Father and Son, let's get straight into it. So you're going to be wanting the intro first, which goes like this. Let's show you how that's done. So first off, we're going to be wanting a G chord, a G major chord, played with fingers two, three, and four, in the same place as you would do if you was doing your other G, but G chord like that. That's so we've got the first finger free to plant down on the first fret of the B string, okay? That's going to be a hammer on, bum, hammer down. So we've got, see the way we've hammered down on that? Nice and nice and hard down on that first fret of the B string. So we've got down, down, up, down, and then hammer on on the strength of that down strike. Get that hammer on nice and firmly on the first fret of the B string. And then after we've done that, we're going to head on up to barring down strings E and B with our first finger. Let's get that up to the camera. And we're going to put our third finger on the fifth fret of the G string. Okay, so with that in mind, we're going to go G string, E string, back to the G string. And then this time when we go back to the E string again, we're going to put our little finger on the fifth fret of the E string. Gives us that high note. Yeah, so we got, so we got, so G, E. G, E string again, but with the little finger on. Let's move my second finger out of the way for you, so you can see. Okay, so we got. So that's four times that happens. On the end of the fourth time, it doesn't occur. So just do it. Uh, four times, but don't do the on the end of the fourth time. So it's going to sound like this. That's two. And now we move into the verse. Ready? So the verse goes as follows. Strum pattern is like this. Down, 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 down. Down, down, down. Little weight there, a little two beat weight on that first down. So it's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and count two on that first beat. One for the second beat, and then it's a quick down up for the fourth beat. So we're, we're cramming two beats into the fourth beat. So we've got one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and down, 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 down. Right, let's talk about some chords. So, uh, verse one, verse two uses the same chord progression. Um, the different, uh, there's, a, there's a different chord progression that happens when it starts to get a bit louder. I'm gonna call that section two. The difference is only one chord, one chord is changed that makes it different from verses one and two. Um, also, the, the difference is the strum pattern peps itself up a little bit. It gets a bit more, uh, I don't know, just, just boosts itself up a bit. So let me show you what's what. So we're going to do verse one, verse two. goes, so we've got down, 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 G to D, then C, A minor, then G, E minor, a minor to D. Repeat. G to D, then C, A minor, G, then E minor, A minor, and then D. Right, so that's verse one. Verse two, as follows. G to the D, to C, 
A minor, same as verse 1, here we go again, G, E minor, A minor, and then D, G, E minor, uh, G, D, C, A minor, G, E minor, this is where it changes, D to G, okay, so that's where verse 2 ends, that's the difference from verse 2. So let's put some strum pattern behind it. So we're going to go G, down, 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 up. D, C, A minor, G, E minor, A minor, D. Repeat that for verse 1 and verse 2. The end of verse 2 goes like this. G, D, C, A minor, G, E minor, ba, ba, D and G. Okay, that's how verse 1 and 2 goes. Right, now, section, the, the next section where it all picks up when he gets a bit... <laughs> excited in the song. Um, what happens is the strum pan picks up, like I said. So now we're gonna move up to uh, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And rather than the chord structure we had in verse one and verse two was going G, D, C, A minor. Now we're gonna change one chord, like I said earlier. Now it's gonna go G, B minor. C, A minor. Everything else is exactly the same as verse 1 and verse 2 chord wise, except for that one change. We're changing it from a D to a B minor. So now it's G, B minor, C, A minor. So we've got G, B minor, C, A minor, G, E minor, A minor, D. And again, G, B minor, C, A minor, G, E minor, D, D, G. Okay, and then we got, you know, that bit again. That, that appears in between, in between verses. So, there we go. That's how you play Father and Son by Cat Stevens. So there we have it, Father and Son by the great Cat Stevens. How did you get along with this one? Let me know down in the comments section below, along with any other song suggestions for songs you'd like me to strip apart and show you how to play in future videos. If you've liked today's video, please could you click like and subscribe for me as it helps me to grow the channel and I'm always so very grateful. A big thanks to those that have done that for me already. I'll see you in the next video. Take great care of yourselves, guys. Until we meet again, bye-bye.